Step into a world of mystery, drama, and suspense with The Edge of Night, a classic TV series from 1956 that has stood the test of time. Explore what makes this show a lasting symbol of the industry. As you delve into the episodes, get ready for a roller coaster of emotions. This series doesn't just tell a story, it reveals funny, shocking, and sad facts that will keep you glued to your seat. The narrative follows the lives of its characters, creating a captivating story that has left a lasting impression on television. Have you ever wondered how a TV series could shape your life? The Age of Night might hold the answer. Share your personal stories of inspiration or moments when the show left a lasting impression. Your connection to it could be a thread in the larger fabric of its legacy. Now, let's hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to the show? We're eager to read your stories and memories in the comments below. Your tales add depth to the rich history of this timeless series. So buckle up for the journey ahead. The world of the Edge of Night awaits with its mysteries and memorable moments. Keep watching and share your thoughts and memories. The Edge of Night stood out from typical soap operas of its time with a unique blend of mystery, drama, and courtroom intrigue. Running for an impressive 28 years, from 1956 to 1984, the show aired on both CBS and later ABC, spanning seven 420 episodes. Different from other daytime dramas, it combined elements of mystery, police work, courtroom drama, and even delved into the supernatural. The show's engaging premise kept viewers eagerly anticipating each episode, with finely crafted scripts by top writers earning it numerous Emmys. The storyline focused on gripping murder mysteries, unfolding as brilliant whodunits that revealed the harsh reality of the culprits. It portrayed the inner workings of the police force and the courtroom with intensity and realism. The show featured notable alumni such as Dixie Carter, Larry Hagman, Richard Dreyfuss, John Voigt, Julian Moore, Richard Thomas, and Hector Elizondo, with a surprise appearance by John Travolta as a delivery man in one episode. Split into distinct eras, The Edge of Night thrived during its CBS years from 1956 to 1975, transitioning from black and white to color episodes from 1967 to 1984. The later ABC years, from 1975 to 1984, marked another phase in the show's history. Unfortunately, ABC decided to cancel the show in the summer of 1984, and its replacement, The Gary Collins Show, fell short, leaving fans disappointed. In summary, this daytime serial left its mark on television with compelling storytelling, memorable characters, and a unique blend of genres that kept audiences on the edge of their seats. In the early 1980s, ABC affiliates experimented briefly with The Edge of Night, airing it overnight to see if it could become a late-night series. The move came as the show's daytime ratings were declining, leading many ABC stations to preempt it for local or syndicated programming during its usual time slot. Notably, The Edge of Night was the only daytime soap opera produced by Procter & Gamble Productions to find its place on ABC. Unlike its counterparts on CBS or NBC, this series marked a unique collaboration with the network. A significant moment in the show's history occurred in 1961 when Teal Ames' character met her demise. The aftermath was unprecedented, with CBS receiving numerous calls from concerned viewers. Ames and John Larkin had to address the audience in the subsequent episode to clarify that it was the character, not the actress herself, who had passed away. This soap opera, with its mix of mystery, drama, and courtroom intrigue, set it apart from other shows during its 28-year run. Moving from CBS to ABC, the show maintained its allure, featuring compelling murder mysteries as intricate whodunits, shedding light on the harsh realities of the culprits. The narrative delved into the inner workings of the police force and the courtroom, portraying intensity and realism. Throughout its tenure, the show had notable alumni, including Dixie Carter, Larry Hagman, Richard Dreyfuss, John Voigt, Julian Moore, Richard Thomas, and Hector Elizondo. A surprising cameo by John Travolta as a delivery man added an unexpected twist to one of the episodes. As the series thrived during its CBS years, the transition to color episodes from 1967 to 1984 marked a significant evolution. However, its later ABC years faced a different fate, concluding with the network's decision to cancel it in the summer of 1984. The replacement, The Gary Collins Show, failed to fill the void, leaving fans disappointed. 
In summary, the show left its mark on television with its engaging storytelling, memorable characters, and a genre-defying mix that kept audiences on the edge of their seats. Stephen Markle's portrayal of Ted Loomis, a corrupt cop turned serial murderer, created a stir among fans who surprisingly embraced his villainous character. The producers, alarmed by Loomis's growing popularity, made the unconventional decision to write him out by killing the character. This move shocked and outraged the audience, showcasing the impact of Markle's performance on the show's narrative. The challenges of preserving classic TV series are evident in the case of The Edge of Night. Most episodes from the CBS era are presumed lost, a common issue faced by older programs recorded on videotape. This loss highlights the difficulties in maintaining the archival integrity of historical television content. A significant shift occurred in the show's production approach during the fall of 1975 when the edge of night transitioned from daily live broadcast to pre-recorded episodes. This move marked one of the last transitions of American daytime soap operas from live to videotaped format. The switch also coincided with the show's move from CBS to ABC, marking a pivotal moment in its broadcast history. Breaking away from traditional soap opera norms, The Edge of Night drew an unexpected male audience, with about half of its viewers being men. This departure from the stereotype challenged industry expectations during its extensive 28-year run. Crafted by Irving Vendig, known for his work on Perry Mason, the series initially aimed to bring the radio drama to television. However, denied rights led to a shift, and it emerged as The Edge of Night, originally titled The Edge of Darkness in pre-production. Different from its counterparts, the show's narrative evolved from mysteries, drama, and courtroom scenes, creating a unique blend that engaged audiences. Notable actors like Dixie Carter, Larry Hagman, and others added depth to the series. The transition from CBS to ABC marked a significant turning point. Despite its undeniable success during its CBS years, the network's decision to cancel in 1984 left fans disheartened. In an experiment during the early 1980s, ABC affiliates tested it as a late-night series due to daytime ratings decline. The show's uniqueness extended beyond its plot. A character's demise in 1961 prompted an unusual audience response, necessitating clarification from the actors. Stephen Markle's portrayal of Ted Loomis, a corrupt cop turned murderer, created a stir among fans, leading to an unexpected twist in the character's fate. Challenges in preserving the series became evident, with most CBS-era episodes presumed lost due to issues with older videotape recordings. A significant shift in production occurred in 1975 as the show moved from live to pre-recorded episodes, coinciding with the transition to ABC. This move marked one of the last shifts in American daytime soap operas from live to videotaped format. Navigating through suspense, drama, and unforeseen narrative choices, it left its mark in television history with its genre-defying approach and memorable characters. The Edge of Night, a distinguished daytime soap opera, stands alongside only two others in American television history to have shifted networks mid-run a notable feat shared with Search for Tomorrow and Passions. It pioneered a precedent as the first daytime drama to seamlessly transition from one broadcast network to another. Adding a touch of Hollywood discovery, The Edge of Night marked Baben Neuwirth's inaugural appearance on television. The show served as the platform for her debut, setting the stage for her subsequent accomplishments in the entertainment industry.